sooner now, so her R has a lot more uptime uh, based on some of these changes. She's gotten some new uh, AP ratios. Not really going to be a power Q can do. Smith actually has used all his dashes, and Evelyn is here. We're seeing the damage trades. Arrow does a lot of damage early, and Smith is going to fall. The first blood just overextended at the wrong time. It used all three charges of the broken. Oh, this is so close. He's got the lane Score is there. There we go. Flash body slam. There's it. Can someday get his ult off? No. Overheats immediately. Score on the run. Score just going to die. As someday the heat management working in Ku's favor. Boarding here on the top side of the map just so thorough. Oh, okay, wow. going to take up. Oh, goodbye. Uh, Scores presence on Evelyn. A bit like his press play so smartly around them. Although here we go. Miss Looking charm. to take the solo kill. And there's the follow-up. Nagde gonna fall, but so will Kuro to the ignite. Arma, the Gragas. Are they gonna go for it though? Chain of corruption. There's the agony's embrace. Not a great one, but there we go. Some damage coming through. Whirling death takes down Gorilla. He gets the cash in on the adoration stack, so Arrow getting something. You're having one ward from your trinket, so you human ward, chains of corruption, big burst damage, and just assassinated by Kuro on the vein. That's an Ari assassinated by vein. I mean, the isn't here. Well. They can force this fight if they. Here we go. Arrow, really not with much to clear these waves yet. Lots of damage though. And will we be able to stop it? Score finds an angle. There's the equalizer going down. Whirling death rips through the team. Nagne low, there's an explosive cast, and there is a double kill for Curl with a single piercing arrow lined up by the Gragas ultimate. Well done. And Smeb just gets the fight, wasn't involved whatsoever, now can just chase away members. Both of these strong turret taking now. They have to, but will they get anything from it? There's a tether, there's the chain of corruption, and there is a very dead Evelyn as a giant bottle of champ for it. They have so much damage. Smeb, of course, not a tank top laner, has a lot of damage himself. This is a potential turnaround point. Scores milling around, hasn't got flash They're gonna available. go for it. There's the teleport coming in. Whirling Death not gonna be there for the steal. TP canceled. There's Gorilla flashing forward for the tether. Kuro wants it. He lands the chain and there's the rest of the poke follow through. Score gets demolished as he finds himself straight in the middle of the Ku Tigers composition. KT were in a bind. They didn't have flash available in Skull for even the most opportunistic of steals. Someday couldn't commit because he needs to clear the super minions. So they can bring up a Baron buffed up super minion wave and honestly just try and poke KT out of this series. Yeah, they're setting up right now. There's not really much that KT can do about this. Pretty much nothing at the moment, actually, unless they hit some insane equalizer. Nagne on the periphery poking forward. There's Smev right in the mix with this ribbon. Chasing everyone back to the fountain as the rest of his team goes through their wrecking ball formation of just destroying these turrets. And now we have the siege onto the Nexus. That's gonna be it. There's nothing they can do. And Koo, with early game power spikes, the Varus Corky in both games plays their win conditions beautifully. KT didn't really have any win conditions in game one. Had some in game two, but Ari once again just isn't able to make anything happen. We talked about the fact that Virus versus Ari just turned into a farm fest. Ari tried to get her roams off with Evelyn, but score in both games, doing his best Evelyn roleplay and being invisible, not being able to get much done, and a convincing series win for Coop. Yeah, and I just think that KT were blindsided by this Varus, not something we expect from the Coot Tigers, and also. Uh, who would have guessed that the Riven was coming back, that the Karma was going to come in? And that Karma really did work. And one person we haven't mentioned was Gorilla, who was just really good in this series. His presence on the map, his presence in the lane was spot on. And for me, he was the reason why the Tigers were really able to put on so much early game pressure. He was first to every single...